welcome to another episode of Pop with Tech Reviews. Today we're going to be having a look at the iPad Mini. Uh, this has been a long-awaited device that uh, Apple has taken its time to bring out. Um, it's, uh, it released earlier this year in competition with the Nexus 7. Although uh, the looks can be deceiving on the outside as they are a far more premium product than the Nexus 7's back. Um, but the software is pretty much exactly the same as every other Apple device that's ever been made. So if we have a look at the backs of the Nexus 7 and the iPad Mini together, then there is a real big difference between them. As you can see on one of them, very uh, smooth matte black, um, and it's a really real fingerprint magnet. And on this one, it's kind of rubbery, non-slip, uh, quite grippy, and you can't really see fingerprints at all on this, although if you just put it kind of in line with the light, you can't see much there. But actually going back to the iPad Mini now, I do love the exterior, it's got a back camera on it unlike the Nexus 7 and it has a front camera, both of these are high quality and the back camera films in HD. Uh, ignore that, a wallpaper. So here we go, We got it, it goes into a portrait mode as well, this has come on all the iPads although Nexus has only just got it uh, in the last update. Now if we go into gaming on this, this has only got a dual core processor compared to the Nexus 7's quad core. But it still runs every game that you throw at it very smoothly and is really a nice device to play games on. So have a look here, there's no lag at all. Um, I don't think this game's been optimised for uh, iPad or uh, Nexus 7, so none of them of which are very high quality. Uh, one thing I did notice about this device is the typing, so if we go into... Um, I don't know, so we're searching something on Google the keyboard is very wide so if you were trying to use one hand in uh, portrait mode you can not you can just about reach the other side which is really awkward um, but if you're not kind of much of a web surfer then it won't really matter to you if you're more of a gamer now I do think this device is quite overpriced compared to uh, the current market I don't know why Apple have brought it out so expensive seeing as already the next 7 have come out for a ridiculously cheap price uh, but that's just how it is and they obviously know that people are going to buy their products just because it's got the Apple logo on. It does come with a number of premium features that don't uh, become on uh, Google devices like FaceTime, um, iMessage and also there are oh, amazing Apple Maps but obviously this isn't too much of a, a worry on the iPad seeing as you won't be using it outside your Wi-Fi unless you're, you've now got the new um, SIM card version. So yeah, overall I've found it's very smooth, nice experience, screen's a lot brighter than the Nexus 7, um, all the games on here are quite nice, but some of the games aren't optimised for uh, iPad, that's the only problem, so they have to play it in a small screen, which is about this big, that size of this uh, square here, uh, which is pretty bad. I haven't played this game in a while, so I'm going to try it, this is flow free. Uh, not sure how to do this, not too good at it anymore. Oh, I'll just ignore that. Um, let's try out the camera. I don't know which camera I'll come up with. Here's yeah, the back camera. This is really great. It's uh, got autofocus on this one, I think. Uh, so that's that kind of makes everything a, a lot clearer. So if we zoom in here, if we just quickly shake it up. There you go, you can see it auto-focusing. Control's very simple, there's just a uh, single uh, photograph button here. When you're taking it, it just makes a little camera noise. And you can click the corner here to bring up your gallery. So there it is. Very easy to switch the cameras around as well. You've got a number of options so you can get, well, there's only one option for grid. Uh, don't, don't ever use this really. Don't see the point in it. Um, obviously Apple iPads aren't meant to be for photography, seeing as they're quite, uh, well, not very portable, to be honest. Now, this has got 7.9 inch screen, which is uh, slightly too big to fit in your pocket, but still a decent, decent small size to compete in the 7 inch tablet market. Um, obviously, Apple have put a number of new features on here that have come in their new iPhone 5 and the new iPod Touch, like the lightning dot connector um, and like a decent camera on the back. And obviously it's got the new iOS 6 update, which is 
uh, quite long awaited but really disappointing including the uh, Apple Maps which has kind of been a, a complete shambles and Google Maps has come in and saved the day a couple of months after but apart from that the new operating system is really nice I love the uh, new App Store this is great so you've got uh, a flow at the top of recommended apps um, really nice, really smooth and, uh, obviously I haven't got the best internet connection but still works perfectly and everything's already loaded um, so obviously recently the new Temple Run 2 has come out that's a very good game, we've got another video on that separately uh, that will also be coming out on Android in the next week or so now some of the benefits of having an Apple device instead of Google is that you get some games first for example FIFA 13 here that hasn't been released yet um, and obviously Temple Run is the uh, biggest game at the moment um, but apart from that there's not much difference between the two devices except for the price uh, I'm really disappointed in the price with Apple kind of trying to make a budget device competing in the market but it's really not nowhere near as good value as the Nexus 7 now uh, I'd like to just quickly do a comparison between the two voice searches so if we put my Nexus here now obviously another thing is you can get live wallpapers on my Nexus and you cannot do that on my iPad so if we bring them both up here uh, right so I'll bring up my page here I've currently got no internet but it gives you all the uh, latest um, uh, all the uh, weather and football scores and when the next match is of your favourite football team just internet doesn't seem to be working very well here on this one that's the problem I have found is that it keeps disconnecting and connecting to my Wi-Fi and that is really quite annoying after a while so we'll just delay that for a second and currently test out the Siri on this so um, I'll ask it what's the weather in commentary turn the volume up first actually What's the weather in commentary? Here's the weather through Thursday. So that's the uh, weather in my area now. Um, yeah, it's it's quite rapid really. So now we've got internet on this, we can do it again and see which one's the quickest. I'll both I'll put them both at the back here because I can't hold them both. Um, so here we go. If we just click them both at the same time, I'll just put them down here and I should be able to see this if I just put the camera turn this off, here we go so if I click these at the same time I'll just right there what is the weather in Coventry? Here's the forecast through Thursday. now you can clearly see that the Nexus 7 has beaten the uh, Siri application this is a lot quicker and the uh, weather forecast is actually a lot nicer to look at also if at the bottom here you can slide up and you get a lot of web results for what you searched on Siri it's brought up the same thing as we had before now I'll ask it what the football results were for Chelsea what was this week's Chelsea FC score One ended in a tie. To each for Chelsea and Southampton. See, Siri has recognised this. This is one of the new features of uh, iOS 6, and it's given me the exact sto score of the last match against Southampton. Uh, whereas the next seven really didn't have a clue and thought I said, "What was this week's Chelsea FC score?" Um, not too good there. But obviously, it's only a, a basically a voice search uh, engine. It's nothing to customise a ball or anything like that, anything that you find really great so just to round up really I'll do a comparison, full comparison of the Nexus 7 against the iPad mini but until then that's a quick look at the iPad mini and what I think of it uh, like and comment if you like the video and subscribe, thanks for watching and remember we've got our new Instagram as well so if you'd like to follow that please do